There was an interesting little controversy brewing involving the mixing of church and state recently in Arkansas. Take a look. A local school district is addressing a controversy involving one of its bus drivers. The superintendent says a parent contacted him about a Christian radio station being played on one of the buses. Five News reporter Brian Schaver has the story. <laughs> Salem Springs School District buses transport thousands of kids every day. Many of the drivers play music on the radio. But one family says a driver played a local Christian radio station. We were notified last Monday, September 26th, by a patron about uh, playing uh, Christian music on the radio. Superintendent Ken Ramey says he first found out about the issue last week, and it has since been taken care of. He says a delay in communication likely led to the Freedom From Religion Foundation sending this letter to the district. We understand that the students on the bus are in a, uh, you know, they're in a contained situation, and under the establishment clause, we're supposed to be religious neutral. And so we see this as a violent, a, uh, a, uh, verifiable incident that can be corrected. Ramey says no harm was met by playing the Christian radio station on a school bus and that uh, school bus driver shortage has the district working to bring all new hires up to speed. Well, we'll just simply uh, be educating our people about uh, and making it, bring it to the conscious level. Uh, just really good people who have no attempt to promote religion. That's just who they are. In Siloam Springs, covering the news where you live, Brian Chauver, 5 News. We did reach out to the person who filed the complaint but have not heard back. The superintendent says district staff will be reminded this week to abstain from religious material around students. Okay, so there's no real big deal here. The school bus driver puts the radio. Apparently this is uh, not just a little transistor for him, but the school bus radio puts it on his Christian music station. Uh, naturally, not everybody wants to listen to his religion, especially if it's music and talk and promoting a religion. Someone contacts the school and then contacts the FFRF. The, uh, the superintendent there says, right, yeah, we shouldn't be doing that. We'll inform people not to be promoting their religion uh, on school time. It's their employees here. Kids are a captive audience. No problem, right? Problem solved. Well, no. Where this story is reported, the Christians are having a hissy fit. They're being persecuted. While we can't pray to Jesus anywhere anymore. Oh, this is terrible. Here are a few examples of their comments. Atheists are sad. What hope do they have? They command everyone else around them to be hopeless and sad as well. They put their hope and trust in mere mortal men. And then when men fail them, and they will, they are hurt and offended. Who will come to their rescue on their deathbed when they're all alone? They're headed for self-destruction. They are very bitter and always accusing Christians. The reason we matter is politics. Starting the sentences with a lowercase t. That is why they can never admit that we do any good. No period at the end of a sentence. And are responded to by large ass. I wonder if he's related to a humongous. Speaking for myself, I am not sad at all. In fact, I am quite happy, and a lot of my happiness derives from the amusement I get from you religiots. Much like the amusement I get from watching my dog's antics. For that, I am genuinely grateful. There are a couple of good responses you might want to read. But then Mary Grace Waltz replies, No, this is a subtle attack on Christianity. The separation clause in the Constitution was so the government could not force us to worship how we did not see fit. This incident is the government poking its head into our world and telling us what we can or cannot do in our private lives. Ah, lady, it's a public school bus, government employee promoting his religion with uh, religious music and talk on a public school bus. That's not our private life. Yeah, but you can play rock, rap, and country, but God forbid you try to play Christian. Something with morals. And the last one, nobody was proselytizing. He, he was the one listening to it, talking about the school dri bus driver. 
I don't think a school bus driver should be listening to any radio, period, while he was driving. Good point. But you were only angry about it being Christian, like the good communist you are. I always love it when they call you communist or fascist. I mean, you run out of something to call people. It's racist, fascist, communist. Meaning, I ain't got something intelligent to say at this point. <laughs>